Hello everyone, this is Tatiana O'Neill with It's All About Your Yoga and More. Today I would like to offer you a mini yogic massage for your feet. To get your feet activated, to get them feeling a little bit more loose and relaxed and at the same time give them a little bit more mobility that will help you with balancing postures and standing postures as well. So to start with, I would like you, if you are interested, uh, get the uh, body oil or any lotion that will help you to work with your massage. All right, let's begin. All right, so I have oil here. I'll just put it in my hands a little bit, and we're going to work with one foot at a time. So first I'm going to just rub it into my hand. Maybe taking a couple nice inhales to feel the aroma. Good. And then we're going to start with one of the legs. doesn't matter which one it's going to be. So uh, one leg will be right in front, extended, and that one will be a setup, kind of like a, a elevation to work with, uh, easier to work with the foot. If you need a blanket or a pillow to slide under here, be my guest. First, we'll just simply apply some oil into your foot. Classical, typical foot massage for your own dear, lovely self. Okay, so just rolling, ru running through the arches of the foot, getting into your heel, getting into your toes. Rubbing all the way through. And now we're going to try and create a little bit more motion mobility for your toes. So we're going to get your fingers going through the creases of your toes. And then see if you can get to the base of the fingers and to the creases in the base of your toes. Right now, we'll just wiggle a little bit and moving around. In addition, you can get the bigger circles to get the ankle going for you. Going one direction, circling a few rounds, another direction. Just nice circulations here. Now we're going to play a fun exercise here. So with uh, opposite effect of engaging and then spreading things uh, in your fingers and toes. So for example, if I'm going to spread my fingers, I'm going to try and uh, squeeze my fingers with my toe. Good. So we're going to get the muscles going around the toes right now working for you. Now, if I'm going to squeeze my toes with my fingers, I'm going to try to separate the fingers with my toe. Try not to overdo it. Sometimes if you're trying too hard, you can get a cramp in the foot. So, you know, if you feel like it's starting building up, then you can help and massage with the other hand or just back off a little bit, okay? Nice. And slowly release. Good. Good foot right here, Pat. So the foot has a lot of bones that we don't see, but there is a lot of bones as uh, the top of the foot, that flesh covers it. So this needs also mobility. So you're gonna move the foot up and down like this few rounds, okay? Like you're trying to get the inner arch going down to the floor, then outer arch of the foot going down to the floor. Good, very nice. For the next one, I'm going to sit and rotate to the side so it's more uh, visual for you. So I'm going to get my thumbs under Achilles tendon and then I'm going to roll in it upward. Then I will have thumbs on top of Achilles tendon and we're going to roll it down. And like so, I'm going to continue traveling with the circulation motion up and down. As my hands are going to start traveling upward. As we are starting massaging gradually more and more of our calf muscle, our Achilles tendon gradually merges into the calf muscle. It won't hurt to massage this area as well. As a final part for our leg massage here, uh, we're going to grab above the ankle. I'm going to give it a good shake to your foot. So try to relax your ankle as much as you can. It's fun to talk while we're shaking the leg like this. Okay, so try not to move the foot on its own. Let your arms, will do all the, the work here. So the ankle is relaxed, and the arm strength are making that leg shake. 
Very good. Say thank you to your foot for carrying you through the whole day, carrying you everywhere. Okay. And then before we're going to go to the other side, you might spend a moment just to notice the difference between both feet. Okay. If you would like, get a little bit more oil for the next foot. Rub it in and put it into the sole of the foot, run into your toes. You can get into each toe separately. You can work the heel, arches. We have three arches in the foot. We have three balls in the foot. We have really thick layers of fascia here, interconnected web. So it's nice and pleasant to work your feet and, uh, you know, frankly, doing massage every day for your feet won't hurt at all. So we're going to get the fingers opposite hand through the bottom of the foot, running through your toes, and see if you can get it all the way through. Not always going to happen, but if you're going to stick to this exercise on a regular basis, you will, uh, it will, uh, most likely it will happen. Okay? And then you can do a circulation for the ankle. Circulation one direction, circulation another direction, few rules. Good. And then with your toes, we're going to give it a try and squeeze your fingers as the fingers are trying to work in opposite direction, spread the toes. So the, the muscles on the sides of your toes are being quite activated right now. Now with the fingers, you're going to try and squeeze your toes. And with the toes, you're going to try and spread them. Good. Feeling the work. If you are feeling it's like it's built up, it's too much helping often it's the arch of the foot that can like ooh what's going on right now what's happening something new is happening good and slowly release let's move the foot up and down a little bit on the sides of the foot yeah nice running the thumbs through uh through the top of the foot massaging here Good. And then I'm going to turn to the side again so you can see it better. I'm going to get thumbs underneath my killer tendon and I'm going to roll it upward. Then thumbs on top and then rolling down. And then just a few rolls up and down like this, traveling. As I'm going to gradually merge into my calf muscle. Good. And uh, final thing is giving a nice shake through your foot. Ankle relaxed. As you're shaking your foot, your whole body is shaking too, which is actually really good. There's a separate exercise that it's called almost like a little like a drink shakeology. <laughs> good to bring the blood flow into the whole system, endocrine system. Good, saying thank you to your foot for carrying you places, for serving you through your lifetime. All right, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can use this technique literally every day. Your feet will only will say thank you to you. Thank you so much from my heart to yours. Namaste.